you want to learn how to make an amazing wedding photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now then stay with me i'll show you how before we get started subscribe and leave a comment below saying i subscribed and i will personally reply to all your comments so let's get started to get started now we need photos import yours if you haven't done that i've done my already so bring them in and now all we need to do is to drag them to the timeline one after the other you can highlight them and drag and drag them down at the same time or you can bring them arrange them one after the other so you can do that and when we're done as you can see there's we have black space by the side and we don't want that all we need to get rid of we need to get rid of it to make the objects or our photos full screen now in order to get rid of that we can right click on the image and go to crop the feet right click then click on crop the feet and you can see what we've gotten rid of it but the next thing we need we can do it another way click on this icon right here then go to crop and palm then you choose system by nine and that will crop the image now you can do that to each of the images all right when you're done pre-render it for smooth playback now the next thing we need to do is to add animation is to add zoom so just go through it and see how it is then right click on the photo and go to crop and pan then change the ratio to 16 99 right click on it go to crop and pan go to pan and zoom then let's animate it the inner box you can expand it now go to the second one do the same thing Now we have two boxes here. Now the inner one, where to start and where to end. So click on the inner one and adjust it. Then click, click reverse and adjust the outer one to where to end. And click play and click OK and go to the next one and do the same thing go to pan and zoom go to adjust it click on the outer one of the box adjust that one too and click reverse All right, so when you're done with that, we need to render it. All right, the next thing we need to do is to add transition. Just go through it and make sure it's just the way you want. Then click on transition and let's go through all this transition. Take your time, just go through it and choose the one that suits you. 
gonna go through it and just drag some and drop it and uh, in between the images and just test it and see if it's okay you go randomly you don't need to be too specific here just go through it and pick and choose the right one and then drop them in between the images and do the same for each of them All right, when you're done, pre-render it, and let's move forward. The next thing we need to do is to, we can add sound effects. Now, if you're okay with the transition, then we can add sound effects. You don't have to do that, but it makes it stand out. So let's go to, all right, let's add some sound sound effects I have some here so I'm gonna search for this particular one and drag them and drop them one after the other just beneath the the transition Just drag and drop, arrange it just should be directly under the transition. Do the same for all of the transition. All right, when you're done with that, just listen to it. If it's too high, you need to reduce the sound. All you need to do is to double click on the on the sound then you go and adjust it make it lower not too high and not too low let's reduce the the sound now just double click on it then you come to this window then adjust it one after the other. Just go through it and do the same. Make sure the sound is uniform. When you're done with that, there's one more thing we can do. We can add background music to it. So go look for a suitable music and drag it to the timeline. Drag it to the timeline and listen to it. If it's too high, then you need to reduce the. You need to make it low. Double click on it and reduce it. Make it lower and listen to it some more satisfied with that then we need to cut it in order to fit the length cut then delete then adjust a smooth fade out and listen to it some more well when you're okay with it then just watch it you made it so this brings us to the end of this video. Let's watch the final results. Isn't it awesome? Thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet 
smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and I will personally respond to all your comments. Click on the videos on the screen, we handpicked those videos for you and we'll see you in the next video.